Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Lit RDA by Fandy Vape. I do have mine in gold. It comes with some unique airflow features as well as the build deck is really um, unique in my opinion. Um, you can actually do mesh coils, you can do vertical coils, you can do horizontal coils. It's got a lot of different options in it. So I definitely want to show you all about it. So let's go down and uh, take a look. Okay, so here we are with the Lit RDA by Vandy Vape. This is the box that it comes in. I do have mine in gold. Um, there's your scratch off authenticity and your barcodes. On the back, it's gonna tell you what's, what the contents inside are, and then it tells you the different types of coils that you can do. You can have the mesh, you can have the um, vertical or the horizontal. So you can build it a number of ways. Um, and then of course you just have to learn more here and that's about it. So let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, when you open it up, you're gonna get your RDA. It already comes with the resin drip tip installed, but you will be getting um, a Delrin drip tip, um, also 810 compatible, just like that one is. And then you will also, they're calling this in the manual, it says Ultim. It looks like one of those um, PEI types, but it says Ultim, so that's what I'm gonna go with. So you get a clear Ultim, so I think that's great. So, so far you have three, um, drip tips and then in the bottom you have your warranty card or your qc card sorry about that you've also got two extra screws that come in the baggie these are actually for your deck and then you do have your squonk pin um in addition to that you've got some springs this is because the deck is spring loaded i'll be showing you that you also have your phillips head screw and your allen key the allen key is for your squonk pin and of course, a 510 drip tip adapter, which I think is awesome. So really in all, like four different versions of drip tips. And then of course your O-rings. In addition, you will get three sheets of um, mesh. I have already used one, um, which I have here. I actually took it out because I only have one RDA. I took it out so that I can do the regular build for you. Um, honestly, I, I'm not a fan of the mesh. I think it's kind of hard to do. Um, I, I won't say that I couldn't do it. I did do it, but I, it's just not something that I'm into. Personally, I really like my other coils. They are made out of stainless steel 316L and they do ohm out to about a 0.15. And um, yeah, so it's supposed to have three pieces. I have used one. Okay, so now for the start of the show. Okay, so this does come with the resin drip tip and it is a matchy matchy drip tip. It is 810 compatible. Your O-ring, oops, sorry from cleaning it. It's a little dirty. All right, you have your O-ring inside. It's a nice beefy O-ring to hold on your drip tip. It's very, very snug. On the bottom, you're gonna have Lit RDA and then it's got Vandy Bait. Boy, I just did not do a good job at drying this. Your serial numbers. And then of course, you've got your 510 pin, which does protrude a little bit. Um, it's got the peak insulator under it. I, I don't know. I mean, it would be up to your discretion if you want to use this on a hybrid. I, personally, I think it should be just a little bit longer, but that's just me. Um, and then it is, mine is all gold. It does come in silver, black, gold, and rainbow. Of course, I do have the gold. I'm going to open this up so that you can see more. Okay, this is the inside of it. Let's take this apart. Ugh. And if you notice, it is domed on the inside. You do have two different types of airflow configuration. You've got some slot airflow, as well as some honeycomb type airflow. If it's anything like the, the Bonza, I like these better. That, that's just my favorite. Ever since the Bonza, I really like these. You will get more airflow out of these though, but I really, really like the flavor on these. I'm just, spoiler alert. I do like the, it's not really knurling, um, but these cutouts on the top, I do think that they're really, really nice and very easy to actually um, change your airflow. So I think that it's really, really nice. See, it's, it, it just, it, I like that it sticks out a little bit because it's a little bit wider than the bait, than the chamber. So it's easy to grip and turn. So I really like that. It is a dual coil. RDA, so I would not suggest a single coil. I mean, I'm not saying that you can't do it, but it's not really made for that. And then that's how that works. And then of course the inside of the barrel. And then the star of the show, we've got the deck here. I'm gonna zoom in for you. 
Okay, um, we have the two Phillips head screws here and then there's some notches here. The notches are so when you're dripping down the middle, it's gonna disperse your liquid evenly to each side. The reason for that is because if you notice down here, there is no space to get from one side to the other for your juice. So in order for your juice to be dispersed evenly, you would have to have it make sure that it's got a way to run down to both sides. So if you drip it right down the middle, it will go down both sides. If it doesn't, just tip it a little bit and then you can do that. This hole here is for your squonking. So if you do have the squonk pin in, your liquid will disperse evenly, which I do like that. Um, the only thing is, is that it looks a little high, um, in my opinion, but being that these are really, really deep juice wells, I mean, really deep, like, look at that. Like almost the whole curve is gone. Being that these are pretty deep, I'm guessing it's so that you can fill it up. They made it that way on purpose so that you could fill it up with juice and wet your cotton so that um you can actually um get a better vape that to me is my is my opinion of why they would have created it that way but i'm not the maker of this rda so i can't tell you for sure okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and loosen these up if you notice when i loosen them up you're going to see them lifting see how it lifted it literally lifts here. This is actually spring loaded. So that's why you have the springs in there that I was telling you about. So it is spring loaded either way so that you can put your leads. You're gonna have one lead here, one lead here, and then on the same, the same way on the other side. You do have peak insulator. Well, it looks like peak insulator right there. Um, you've got a strip here, you've got some up here. So you've got it all throughout here. So it should be really, really safe and a pretty, I'm thinking it's it's going to be a warm, a nice warm vape. You can see it a little bit better here. I do like that the plate has like those notches on it so that it helps you grip your leads. I think that that's really, really ingenious right there. I really do. Um, because otherwise your leads could slip out when you're pulling them or positioning them. Um, but it's going to grip it really, really well with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, put some coils in this. So... For the coils today, I'm gonna to be using my favorite Fuse Claptons from Coil Clout. These are Nichrom 80 coils. They will own out to about a 0 .16, 0 .18 for the set. And um, I'll leave the information down below where you can get these. And again, these are like my favorite coils. Like, I like all of them, but these are like my go-to coils. I mean, trust me, I've got a whole slew of different types. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and put the first one in. And then after I put the first one in, I'm actually gonna measure it so that I can cut it. And then um, I'm gonna just make the other one the same length just to make it a little bit easier. So here you're gonna put one on the bottom and one on the top. There's one on the bottom, one on the top. Come on, up there. You know what I'm gonna do? Let me cut one of these legs a little bit shorter because I meant to do that earlier and I totally forgot is it just makes it easier when you have one leg shorter than the other for you to get the leads in. And let me scoot this out just a little bit more so it'll open up a little bit more. Don't be scared, I've got extra screws and everything. <laughs> and then again, you're gonna put one here and then one on top. And I'll go in like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna um, eyeball it to see where I want it. That's about where I want it. And I'm gonna go ahead and clip those and then I'm gonna just measure out the other coil and do the same thing so that I don't have to worry about the other one or fighting them and trying to cut them when they're both in. So this to me is a lot easier of a method. There we go. So I'm gonna pull that back out and I'm gonna put my other coil right next to it. This just makes it a lot easier. Um, you don't have to do it this way. This is just the way that I choose to do it. And then I just put them side by side and I just clip them to the same length. And the same length. And it just makes them easier when you put them in. Especially being that they're sharing the same holes. That's the problem um, with most, most of the time with sharing the same holes. So I'm gonna put this one in here. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use a little rod to keep it in place. It just helps me Helps me help you, so we're not sitting here all day. And then I'll put the other one in, and I'm gonna do the same thing, one on top, one on bottom. 
Same way, one on top, one on bottom. There we go. Okay, get that in there. And I have those two in there and I'm gonna screw down the posts. And then I can straighten up my coils right after. So screw that. And this you can use Phillip or Flathead um, screwdriver. Either one is fine. Um, I actually tighten it better with the flathead than I do my, but that's my Phillips, it's not because of anything. There we go. And then I can take this out and take this out and then start positioning my coils. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that there. Scoot that over a little bit. I really like this screwdriver a lot better. This is like my favorite screwdriver for this. And just lift them up a little bit, scoot them over a little bit and do the same thing with this one. This is a fairly easy deck to build on. Um, I kind of like it. It's just that I don't like shared space. That to me is like really unnecessary in my opinion. Now, whatever you do, make sure that you always check. That's what I was doing now. Check to make sure that you don't have any of the leads that you've cut in the base um, in your deck because if you do, then you will have some problems. So yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready to fire these okay, babies. So let's go ahead and start firing these. Turn on my mod, zoom out a little bit so you can see. And start firing. Because we wanna get them to glow evenly from the inside out. And by the way, these are oming at a 0.18 so far. And just pinch and fire and pinch and fire. Pinch and fire. I'm trying to make sure I'm in the camera. And pinch and fire. These are like my favorite coils from Coil Clout. Go on, starting. Sometimes playing with the opposite coil, it helps the other one to heat up a little bit faster. There we go. Almost there. Okay, we've got them glowing from the inside out. So I'm just gonna grab some cotton and we'll go ahead and wick this up. Okay, and for today's cotton, I'm gonna be using my Kendo Vape Cotton Gold Edition. This is my favorite cotton. And yeah, so let's go ahead and cut some here. And what I'm gonna do is just cut it in half. There we go. These are three millimeter coils, so should be good. Let's put this through here. We want it tight, but not, or snug, but not too tight. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit so that you can see that. I'll go ahead and do the other side. Okay, put that one through there. I knew that was gonna break off. There we go. There we go. Perfect. There we go. All right. So what I'm going to do is what I usually do, and I'm just going to go ahead and fluff out my wicks a little bit. And then I'll cut them. Not too much because the deck is pretty long, so it's going to need to be in the bottom so I'm just gonna cut those and then here we go just go ahead and put that over here put that over here now if you were squonking you want to definitely make sure that you don't have anything in the way of that hole let me scoot in there see the hole you definitely want to make sure that you don't have it blocking that because if you have it blocking that it's gonna make it impossible for it to wick up right I'm gonna put this one in here and this one in here and there we go. So, and if you look at my cap along with this, 
Um, the coils are literally gonna be right at the airflow level, so that's perfect. And so today for my e-liquid, I'm gonna be using this fluffer, and this is by Liquid Sky. This is a vanilla marshmallow shake, and it is super, super yummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and start um, wetting my wicks and making sure that they are getting, the cotton is getting wet from the inside out. So I like to drip it right on the coil. And then, there we go. And then it will actually wet the wicks from the, and if you see right here, if I drip it from the center, which is like dripping it right down the middle, it's hitting both coils because of those grooves that I mentioned. So you can do it that way as well. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and wet the rest of it. And go there and over here. And yeah, we're ready to rock. So just make sure my cotton is all tucked away. Some airflow there, airflow here. And I'm gonna start off with the honeycomb um, airflow, but we're gonna vape it both ways. So let's go ahead and go back. So on top. here we are back on top with the lit RDA and I have mine in gold as you saw down low, which on here it like matches it perfectly because it's like, it's a rainbow mod. So of course it's gonna match. So that's why I put it on here. So let's go ahead and have a vape. I do have the honeycomb airflow chosen. Um, and then we'll do the slit airflow, but let's go ahead and take a look at this. I have it at 75 Watts. It is ohming out at a 0.18. So let's have a vape. Two of my favorite things, airflow and flavor. And I've, I've got it, or clouds and flavor really. I know what this fluffer tastes like because I'm running out. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, um, yeah, so don't worry, I've got a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so that was with the honeycomb and let's go ahead and switch it over to the slots. Again, this grippy thing is like super easy. Look at this. I can go left, I can go right and everything stays in place. So let's go ahead and take a look at it this way. I definitely feel like a lot more airflow with the slots than I do the honeycomb um, airflow, but I really thought I'd like the honeycomb better, but the honeycomb is just a slight bit more restrictive than the slots. I kind of like it with the slots better um, for my vaping needs. Um, I do like that. Um, let's go ahead and go over pros and cons. For the pros, I want to say three drip tips plus a, a 510 drip tip adapter. I think that's phenomenal. Um, I like that it comes um, ready with mesh coils. If you do want to go ahead and use mesh coils, you can. Um, and it comes with the springs and everything else that you need just in case that's a pro. Um, I think the look of it is really nice because this is like a brushed, um, color here. And then it's like the shiny here, the polished. So it blends really, really well. I do like the look of it. Um, the mesh coils can be, can be hard. Um, I won't lie to you. <laughs> I can do them, but it took me a while to do it. It was my first mesh coil and I did do it, but it was, it was, I'll, I'll be honest, it was a bitch. It was a bitch. Um, I do get good flavor, but it's not the best flavor. I'm not sure if it's because of the post separating the two sides of the deck or not. So the airflow is not really going through it. It's actually just going in and up rather than through it. So I'm not sure if that's the reason. I'd say out of like from zero to 10, I'd get like a seven. I wanna give it like a seven for flavor. Um, probably, I haven't, I mean, I tasted it with the mesh, but I, I didn't really like the mesh. With the mesh, it's about the same in my opinion. Um, again, these are all my opinions. Other people might think of it totally different. That's fine, um, but that's mine. Um, I don't know what the insulators on the deck are because it didn't really say. Um, I'm hoping that they're peak insulators, but yeah, this does get hot though from chain vaping. 
I do want to warn you. And again, I think it's because that poster, the air cannot get through it. That, again, I'm not like, you know, um, scientist or anything like that. So I'm not saying for sure, for definite, but that's just my opinion and that's how I feel about it. I feel that it gets good airflow though. With the slots open, it's giving really, really good airflow. With the honeycomb, it's still getting good airflow, but it's a little bit more restricted. But it gives better flavor. The honeycomb, being that it's a little bit more restricted, does give a little bit um, better flavor, and you can close it down a little bit. I'm gonna close it down like that. A little bit's gone. It bumps up the flavor to about an eight, I would say, with the honeycomb airflow. I like the airiness of the slots, but I like the flavor on the honeycomb, but you've got both choices, so that's great. Another plus is that it comes with a squonk pin, so if you want to squonk, I think that this would, in my opinion, probably be a better squonker than an RDA, only because you can fill up those juice wells really nice um, because uh, the juice is gonna be dispersed evenly. When you drip down the middle, which you can do, I'm gonna just check it, yeah, it's dispersing evenly, but you have to be exactly down the middle. Like, you have to be right done. If you're over a little bit to the left or over to the right, you're not going to get the other side wet. So, you have to be careful with that. It's not bad. It's not a bad RDA at all. I really, I, I, I love the looks of it. I love the looks of it. I think that it's, it's a sexy looking RDA. It really is. Um, right now they have it at um, myvpro.com for $29.99. They've got it at a couple other websites for about $34 around there. Um, I'll leave the links for them down below. If you're interested in something and trying out the mesh, I mean, they do give you the three strips of mesh. You can always purchase additional mesh. Um, and I guess that's it. For the cons, I already told you. The cons is it's, a, it's, gonna, it's gonna get hot. And then that post in the middle, I just, I think that it's, I like it because it's unique. I like it to build on because it's unique. And even though they share the same holes, it wasn't that hard as you could tell to actually um, build on it. But I just, I feel like that whole post in the middle blocking it, I think that it it's gonna bring down the, the flavor a little bit. With the, with the honeycomb, I think it bumps it up to about an eight. But um, yeah, so that's my review. If you like the review, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you hit the notification button, then you'll be notified every time that I have another video up, which I will be having more. Um, I do have a link down below to my Patreon page um, if you want to go ahead and check that out, as well as to my Facebook groups and all my social media. So I will leave all the information for this RDA down below, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye.